Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And in this video, we will be taking a look at not one, not two, but three disturbances. And one of them uh, is of course expected to become a tropical cyclone sometime very soon. And behind it, we have another newly marked disturbance. And so uh, the Lesser Antilles are definitely going to be feeling impacts from these systems. And so before I go into more details, All right, so we are starting off with a general view of the Atlantic Basin right now. So this is infrared satellite, and we're seeing that we have quite a bit going on. So we have a tropical wave that is in the Eastern Caribbean that is making its way through. And then out in the Atlantic, up, um, approaching the Windward Islands, we have Invest 94L, which is likely to develop very soon. The formation chance has risen. So we'll go on to the National Hurricane Center's outlook map, as well as conditions and potential intensity of the system later in this video. And so behind that, we have another tropical wave given uh, a chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone. And so we'll be taking a look at what is ahead for these systems. And so over in the Gulf of Mexico, we have another air flow pressure. Uh, but a lot of convection associated with that has dissipated so we'll briefly talk about that one as well all right and so here we have the national hurricane center's five-day graphical tropical weather outlook and here we have our three disturbances so the first one we want to talk about is that one in the gulf of mexico so it is given a low 20 percent chance to possibly develop into a tropical system it's located just off the southeastern coast of louisiana and it is going to be accelerating towards the southwest and in that shaded region is where we could see some development take place of the system uh, but while it lingers there regardless it is likely to bring some rainfall to portions of texas so if you're in texas uh please be aware of that happening and so the next disturbance that we want to take a look at is our new disturbance so this one here is a tropical wave that has a chance to develop into a tropical cyclone so as of right now it is given a 20 percent chance and take a look at that it is likely to affect the lesser antilles and it might make its way into the caribbean but how much could it possibly develop so we'll take a look at conditions as i said earlier we'll be taking a look at conditions ahead of these systems later in this video so the chance is at 20 percent now and if uh, conditions ahead of the system are favorable enough then we could see this chance gradually increasing but regardless it is likely that it if uh, if it is going to be making its way over the area, it might bring a lot of inclement weather along with it. And next to the one treat of this video, we have Invest 94L, now given a high 90% chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone. So yesterday, the chance was at 70% and today we are at 90% for this system. And uh things are not changing much with it in terms of the possible tracks so it's almost a certainty that this thing here is going to be making a general westward motion and affecting central america so after it crosses over the windward islands it is likely to move across the southern caribbean and might head over into nicaragua and so uh later today watches and warnings might be required for some sections of the windward islands and venezuela so uh those areas should definitely be monitoring the progress of the system because while it is going to be making its way by it's likely to bring along with it some very dangerous conditions a lot of heavy rainfall uh maybe some storm surge as well as those storm force winds and so guys please be aware of that happening so looking at 94l on satellite right now we're seeing that it has quite a bit of uh showers and thunderstorms associated with it but pretty disorganized right now but as time goes by we're expecting that it is going to be looking a lot better because conditions ahead of it uh are conducive as I speak about that, let us go on and take a look at conditions. So first up, we have the sea surface temperature map. And we're seeing here that, of course, things are very warm in the Caribbean. And so it is going to be crossing over into that 28 degrees Celsius isotherm, which is going to be helping it to intensify. Next, let us take a look at the dry air. So we have uh, quite a bit of dry air out there, but we have our waves being south of all of that dry air. So there might be some intrusion 
dealing with these waves, but not a whole lot uh, because they're traveling south of that mass right there on their way to the Caribbean. So dry air is a huge inhibiting factor I'm talking about. If, if there was more dry air in the vicinity of these waves, it is likely that we wouldn't expect to see a lot of development because dry air is really the opposite of moisture. So we need moisture to have tropical cyclone development. All right, and so now we want to go ahead and take a look at what the model ensemble tracks are showing. So first up, we have the EC tracks. And so uh, this is by Wednesday, and we're seeing that by that time, 94L, which could be a tropical storm at that point, is expected to make its way over into the southeastern Caribbean. And so at that time, there could be, uh, there is likely going to be quite a bit of rainfall affecting portions of the Windward Islands and northern Venezuela. And so behind it, we're seeing that that new um, disturbance that is highlighted by the NHC could be trying to develop. But meanwhile, over in the Gulf, we have the members showing that we will have that low pressure system loitering there about. But let's go on and see what is expected. So as we head to late Friday, going into Saturday there about, uh, we're seeing that the EC tracks are expecting that 94L, which might be a name system at that time, is likely going to be making its way over into Central America. So among all these members here, we're seeing some sort of a general consensus that we're going to be having this thing here just moving westward and heading straight over into Central America. And then as for that other system, it's going to be moving on a more northwesterly track. So uh, they're showing that by that time, it's going to be on approach to the Lesser Antilles. And as for that Gulf system, uh, the, the members are showing that it is going to be a accelerating into Texas eventually. And then headed now to Monday, uh, next Monday, we're seeing here that the members are kind of dispersed with uh, the possible track of the new tropical system and we're not seeing a whole lot of them. So that that indicates that we might not see something very significant. But for the ones that are available, we're seeing uh, that dark blue shade. That indicates winds of about 40 knots, which would be storm force winds. But let's wait and see what's going to be happening. And then for GFS, GFS is a little bit more dispersed with uh, the second disturbance. So we definitely have to wait and see what's going to be happening ahead of it. But here is something that is pretty important. So so this is the shear map and as we head more to those oranges and reds that indicates a stronger wind shear that means that things are a bit more hostile for tropical development. So as we head to Wednesday, Euro is showing that uh, 94L is going to be in somewhat of favorable shear. We're seeing those blues, those greens and that very light yellow. And then as we head to Friday on the 1st of July, we have increasing shear across portions of the northern Caribbean. And so remember that second disturbance is expected to head within that region. So so all of that increase in shear will likely help will likely help to keep the intensity at a minimum. So again, things are not very favorable as what the model is showing here for the second disturbance. And so GFS is in agreement with this that we're going to be having increase in shear across portions of the Northern Caribbean and uh, that will help to influence the intensity of the second disturbance. But for the most part, it is likely that 94L will be intensifying into a tropical storm. And of course, if it does so, it will acquire the name Bonnie and the next two names after Bonnie are Colin and Danielle, my name. So let's wait and see what's going to be happening with these three disturbances as time goes by. But the one that seems to likely develop into a tropical system is the one that we've been focusing on for the past couple of days, which is Invest 94L. And so guys, I will be keeping you updated. But again, if you're in the Windward Islands and Northern Venezuela, it is likely that you will be feeling some impacts from 94L, which might intensify into a tropical cyclone by that point. And so guys, I will be keeping you updated on the tropics and that is it for this video. And if you found it to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.